In this example, I'm going to show you how to use capability combination reports for individual observations using a non-normal data set. Now, this example is taken from the Sigma Excel workbook. Now, uh, an important assumption for process capability analysis is that the data be normally distributed. The capability combination report for individual observations with non-normal data allows you to transform the data to normality or utilize non-normal distributions. Um, now, before we begin, it's important to determine that we are dealing with an inherently non-normal data or a skewed distribution. Uh, this tool should not be used with bimodal data or where the non-normality is due to outliers. Uh, outliers can be identified using normal probability plots. Uh, in these cases, you should identify the reason for the bimodality or outliers and take corrective action. Another common reason for non-normal data is poor measurement discrimination, leading to chunky data. In this case, uh, attempts should be made to improve uh, the measurement system. Now, for this example, we are using the non-normal cycle time 2 data set. You can find this data set in the sample data folder in the Sigma Excel installation directory. So go ahead and open your, your data set. Non-normal. Okay, so once you have your data set open, you're going to click on graphical tools. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the data first using histograms and descriptive statistics. Um, so click on histograms and descriptive statistics. So click on use entire data table. Then click next. Now you're going to select cycle time minutes as your numeric data variable Y and click OK. Now we can see from the histogram and from the ADP value of less than 0 0.05 that the data is not normal. Um, now we're going to confirm the non-normality using a normal probability plot. So click on sheet one of your data set, click on graphical tools, and then click normal probability plots. Make sure used entire data table is selected, and then click on next. Select cycle time bracket minutes as your numeric data variable Y, and click on OK. Now you can see that uh, the curvature in this normal probability plot confirms that the data is not normal. What we're going to do now is a process capability study, assuming that the data is normal to show the dangers of doing that. So click on sheet one of the data set, and you're going to click process capability, and then click capability combination report individuals. Make sure the use entire data table is selected and click next. Now you're going to select cycle time minutes as your numeric data variable Y, and you're going to set your upper spec limit at 1000. Everything else uh, can remain the same, and you can click OK. And now you'll see the process capability report is shown. And if I scroll down a little bit, you'll notice that there's a discrepancy between the expected overall performance and the actual empirical performance. Um, this is largely due to the non-normality in the data since the expected performance assumes that the data is normal. Um, so you might ask, why not use the actual performance and disregard the expected? Well, that wouldn't be reliable because the sample size of 30 is too small to estimate performance using a pass-fail or a discrete criteria. Um, so now what I'm going to do is zoom out a little bit more. And you'll notice the two control charts, the individual's control chart and the moving range. And you'll see that uh, the process appears to be out of control on both the individuals and the moving range chart. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to try a capability combination report for uh, individual observations uh, in non-normal data. So to do this, just click sheet one of your data set. Click on process capability, highlight non-normal, and click on capability combination report individuals non-normal. Use entire data table and click next. Select cycle time minutes. Set your upper spec limit at 1000. Now the transformation we're going to try first is the box cox transformation with a rounded lambda. So after making these selections, uh, make sure test for special uh, causes is selected as well. And you can click OK. And you'll see that the process capability report is shown. Uh, now if I zoom out, you'll notice that the AD normality p-value of 0.404 right here confirms that the box-cox transformation to normality was successful. 
Uh, the process capability indices and expected performance can now be used to establish a baseline performance. Uh, note that there are no out of control signals on the control charts, if I zoom out. So the signals observed earlier when normality was assumed were false alarms. Uh, so now what we're going to try is we're going to have Sigma XL calculate uh, which transformation is the best uh, for this, this data set. So you're going to click on recall Sigma XL dialog. Everything else remains the same, but you're going to select instead of Voxcox transformation, automatic best fit, and then you can click OK. And you'll see a process capability report is displayed. And you'll notice that it's chosen uh, a two parameter uh, log logistic distribution. Um, and if you want some details on how that selection was made, you can see the appendix of our workbook. The section would be statistical details for non normal distributions and transformations. Now, if I scroll down a little bit more, you'll notice that the Anderson Darling statistic here of uh, 0.245 is less than the 0 0.37 value for the 80 normality test of the Voxcox transformation. So, this is indicating a better fit. And lastly here, what I'm going to show you how to do is a distribution fitting. So you're going to click on sheet one of your data set. You're going to select process capability, non-normal, and then select distribution fitting. Now ensure that the entire data table is selected, and then you can click next. Now select cycle time minutes as your numeric data variable Y. And you're going to leave everything the same. You're going to leave it uh, selected at all transformations and distributions, and then you can click OK. Okay, and you'll see the distribution fitting is produced. Um, now the distribution fittings here, they're sorted in descending order using the 80 normality p-value on the transformed z-score values. And you'll notice, uh, if I zoom out, as I scroll down here, um, how, um, how the data tends to stray further and further away, rather, from a, a straight line. You'll see it stray further and further away from a straight line. So, so obviously that indicates that uh, the uh, transformations and distributions are listed in order from best fit to worst fit.